Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys I hope you are in good condition today And we are from Group 3 Which include member Me, Ayu Rahmawati And to my friend Her name is Indah Mujirahayu And Milinia Yasinta We will present The result of our discussion and little semantic fitur. Let's get started. Semantic is a branch of linguistic that examine meaning. The meaning that is examined by semantic is contact free meaning. In semantic there are what are called semantic fitur. Semantic fitur can be called as language acquisition to be able to study semantic acquisition, we need to first understand what is meant by the meaning of the word. According to Leach, the analysis of word sense is often seen as a process of breaking down the sense of a word into its a minimal component, which known as semantic feature or sense component. A semantic feature is a notational method which can be used to express the existence or non-existence of pre-established semantic properties by using plus and minus signs. Semantic properties are, are those aspects of a language unit such as morphem, word, or sentence that contribute to the meaning of that unit. Component analysis, also called feature analysis or contact contrast analysis, refers to the description of meaning of word through structure set of semantic feature which are given as present, absent, absent or indifferent with reference feature. Component analysis is a method typical of structural semantic which analyzes the structure uh, of word meaning. Uh, the meaning of a word is made up of characteristic, a set of abstracted known as which feature distinguish this word from other semantic word. Thus, it reveals the culturally important features by which speakers of the language distinguish different words in the domain. Applied to describe semantic universal that semantic feature are my characteristic and uh, uh, a language. Semantic feature are believed to get the meaning of the word by mastering the semantic feature of the word one by one until all the feature are mastered. Semantic feature can be identified through the meaning of word based on the shape, size, sounds, taste, motion, and so on. So, the function of semantic feature is that someone can understand a concept of meaning in the presence of signs or feature that make it easier for, uh, for him to understand the concept. Okay, I want to continue of Ayu's presentation. Uh, I want to expand about the entity of semantic features. In the entity of semantic features, uh, there is a componential analysis. It refers to the description of the meaning of words through structure sets of semantic features, <coughs> which are given as vision absent or indifferent with reference to the feature. 
in Componential Analysis use a binary feature. A binary feature assumes that the plus and minus features. The, the features such as plus animat or a or a leaf with a minus animat plus human with minus minus humans plus female with minus female plus a tau with a minus a tau. Then uh, in semantic features also can be described by antonymy or incompatibility nouns. Uh, some important semantic features for noun using antonymy as follows. First, a uh, plus countable noun antonymy with uh, uncountable noun. For example, town, town uh, antonymy uh, with sense. Uh, Noun concrete such as better with uh, non concrete nouns uh, such as commitment and plus animate nouns such as chicken with table, table uh, like uh, non animate nouns. And then, uh, plus un human nouns. For example, students like a uh, like a human with autonomy, elephant likes an animal. And then, and then, uh, plus male or plus female, uh, such as. Man, uh, antonymy with woman, and the last uh, collective noun such as a player with antonymy team. Okay, uh, I feel enough, and then next presentation will ex will expand. Be my friend, by my friend. Uh, millennials times is your Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm Millennia Yosinta Pancha Agustin I'm from group 3 and in here I will explain about the examples of analysis the example of sentence that I have to analyze is the hamburger at the boy the oddness of these sentences does not derive from their syntactic structure. According to the basic syntactic rules for forming English sentences, we have well-formed structures. The hamburger as non-phrase, at as verb, and the boy as non-phrase. So the sentence in syntactic structure is good, but semantically, the sentence is odd. The components of the conceptual meaning of the noun hamburger must be significantly different from those of the noun boy. The kind of noun that can be the subject of the verb at must denote an entity that is capable of eating. The noun hamburger does not have this property and the noun boy does. We can make this observation applicable by trying to determine the important features of meaning that any noun must have in order to be used as the subject of the verb at. Feature is animate being. Boy is an animate, or the noun phrase boy has the feature. And hamburger is not an animate, or the noun phrase hamburger does not have the feature. In conclusion, the sentence of the hamburger at the boy is owed in semantically because the hamburger is does not have semantic feature or enemy.
The second sentence that I have to analyze is the devil listens to the radio. The devil is not freeze, listens to expert, and the radio is not freeze. The kind of noun that can be the subject of the verb listens must denote an entity that is capable of listening. The noun table does not have this property or cannot listen. Um, like the previous sentence, uh, this sentence is good in syntactic structure, but semantically, the sentence is odd. We can make this observation applicable by trying to determine the important features of meaning that any noun must have in order to be used as the subject of the verb listens. Feature is animate meaning. Table is non, not an animate, or the noun phrase table does not have the feature. In conclusion, the sentence of the table listens to the radio is put in semantically because the table is does not have semantic feature or not any meaning. Okay, that's all from our group. Apologize us if we make mistakes. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.